Hello. So recently there's been a, or fairly recently, there's been a game published called Stargrave, which looks pretty good. Um, I've been quite interested in it. This game really interested me because it's a science fiction game. It's by Osprey Publishing. It seems really, really good because although they publish a rule book they and they do have a deal with a miniature supplier, they've left it really open for players to create their own miniatures, to create their own crews, their own captains and their own spaceships spaceships as well. So that seemed like a really fun thing to get involved in. But this game it's much more it seems to me kind of closer to a an open world you can make your choices, you can design whatever you like. And that that part of it really interested me. As someone that likes to design and make stuff and kind of come up with my own spin on things, that was really interesting. So the uh, rules say start off with your captain Build your crew around your captain. Your captain is the centerpiece for what you're doing. So obviously, I have decided to start off with the spaceship because because spaceships are cool, you know. And this video will be about me designing that spaceship. So I've downloaded the PDF rules from Osprey Publishing. I would recommend it if you want to have a go at the game. It's not too much, and it sets out everything you need to know. So just think about the spaceship. I had some design choices. Was it going to be like a fighter? Was it going to be a freighter? Well, I thought some sort of drop ship kind of thing. So I decided to make something a little bit higgledy-piggledy, a bit hodgepodge, a bit sort of thrown together. And I started off thinking about one of the first models I ever made. Uh, so I, I made this model for a music video, which was uh, meant to be a, an interplanetary milk float. There'll be a link. You know, I was quite pleased with it, but it was quite a while ago. But I thought it's time for an update. Time for something a little bit loaded with weapons. I want an interior with it. And I think I could just do a little bit of a better job nowadays. So I decided go back, have another look at that model. So I jumped into Blender, the best modeling software, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. ZBrush, ZBrush even. Bring it on. That's what I say. Uh, so, and you can see there's sort of a weird shape here. So I'm just in this one, I'm sort of just blocking out shapes, almost none of which ends up in the final model. There are a couple of bits of inspiration. You can see like the original space boat that I made like that, which was probably, I'll admit, quite influenced by Starbug, but no bad thing there. Starbug, classic design. Uh, but also I had this big round ball at the front. Um, do you remember in the, like the, the old Star Treks, where they'd have like the science vessels instead of having a dish at the front would have a, a big sphere. So I thought I'd do something like that, um, which eventually I got rid of because I decided it looked rubbish. And I then spent a bit of time messing around with different uh, shapes to go at the front for sort of the crew compartment. But none of which actually I was happy with in the end. But, you know, I did that for a bit. That was good. So at the end of the uh, first day of modelling, I ended up with something that looked a little bit like this. Quite basic, but I was happy with the silhouette. I really like the sort of having the engines on sort of some sort of box girder. And I want this to be able to feel slightly realistic and thrown together and scavenged. And then I put these little sort of round sort of boobs with guns on. There's little turrets. I like those sort of reminiscent of World War II sort of gunships. Give it a diesel punk sort of feel because I really love that sort of look. So you can see for a while I was going to give it some big spidery legs which I played with which were really fun but then I kind of didn't quite know how they were going to fit although it made the the ship look like a giant insect which I liked. I decided to go against those just because they sort of folded away and when they folded away they sort of crashed into each other and you couldn't really ever put them in a convenient nice way to fold. Scrapped that idea and uh I had to have a good old think about what the legs would be like. So I did some research into sort of landing gear and stuff like that. Well, not, not real landing gear, just spaceship landing gear. That's all it was. Uh, and in the end, ended up with something that looked a little bit like this. So I've gone back, I've added a load of greeblies. I, this whole thing got remodeled a couple of times from scratch as I kept on changing ideas. And it was, um, then went back, did an interior worked out the interior for it. Once I'd done the interior, I went off, gave it a bit of a print. Uh, 
This is it, this is what it came out as. So this is the test print that I've done, the first one. I did this on a, my Elegoo Saturn, so it's one of the larger form uh, resin printers. There will be a version, I will cut it up so that you can get a version on the smaller, like the Mars or the Photon or something like that, on the smaller resin printers, but it should do FDM as well. The test print on my Ender as well, to see what it comes out like, but hopefully, because it will print, with all the various little accessories, legs, arms, guns, come off and then print like that comes off quite well hopefully i mean it's a fair size it's, it's not an afternoon's worth of printing but you do get a whole spaceship out of it so we've got the mini guns around the edge we've got the big turret at the top which i'll show you which uh moves around comes off so you can have a little view inside as well but also if you really want access the whole lot comes with little magnet holes so we can magnetize it all together enough room for a crew of 10 with the uh, with admittedly with the smaller bases so it all goes in there i'm quite pleased with it got the mini guns got the the engines came out really nice they will be split up in different ways depending on how you print it but also at the back at the back we have a little tailgate or rear door which opens and closes none of this at all is useful for the game of Stargrave. I mean, it's not, there's not really a reason for it, but spaceships, spaceships are cool. So definitely, I mean, it does seem people, to be fair, are getting on board with the spaceships. I'm on board with the spaceships. I think the spaceships, there needs to be more spaceships. I mean, you know, you want, you've got your crew, they need, they need their transport. This then leads me on to my next question, which is exactly what is going to be in my crew. Who's my captain going to be? I need to think about that. I have started, I've got a little model here, which I'm not going to show too much, but I think I'm going for robots. I think I'm going to go for some weird looking, horrible cyborgs, some sort of human slave thing. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Who knows? Spaceship. <laughs> Mindful, the Mortality Portal, proud sponsors of this video. Share your life with Mindful. Like the video, follow me around. Press the bell, it makes no sound. Like the video, press subscribe. I don't know why I am alive.